Hey guys, TechRacks here. So in this video, I'm going to briefly talk about some tips and tricks on the Galaxy S4. And really in this video, I'm going to kind of focus on how the S4 differentiates from the S3. You know, why would you really purchase the S4? What does it have that the S3 doesn't have? So some of those crucial tips um, in the Galaxy S4. So we're going to get started with Smart Pause and Smart Scroll. Now what Smart Pause is, is basically if you're watching a video or a YouTube clip, in this case I'll show you guys um, this Old Spice commercial, and you're watching the video and you turn your eyes away from the video, the video will automatically pause. So I really think that is kind of neat. Um, you know, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how it actually works. This is kind of a short clip. So um, I'm going to restart it, and I'm going to start watching the clip, and then I'll turn my eyes away. And as you can see, I turned my head away and the clip stopped. And I'm going to go ahead and start watching the clip now. And again, I'm going to stop. And as you can see, that is how the smart pause feature kind of works. You know, nothing really kind of big. I mean, still, you will not find these, this on the S3, but that is smart pause. So smart scroll is basically when you're surfing on the web and you're reading an article and you don't really want to scroll with your finger. Um, you can basically look at the direction of where you want to scroll and kind of tilt your phone and it'll automatically do that for you. Now it is kind of glitchy at times, but I'm going to show you guys how it kind of works as you can see right there. But here, here is kind of the whole, you know, gist of it. You can see it is kind of laggy at times. It doesn't really even correspond. So, you know, it's not a feature maybe that you want to um, enable, but it is something that was on the S4 that was not on the S3. So next up we have Air Gesture and Air View and what these features do. Uh, well, Air Gesture, first of all, is it allows you to um, go through pictures or go through an article with just um, the hover of your hand. So I'll show you guys how that works right now. I took three really crappy pictures. Uh, basically, all you have to do is this. And you can see that the picture goes to the next. And it doesn't always work. Um, it's just something that you have to do it right above the sensor. Um, you know, you can see, I don't know how that... Oh, wow. So I guess it can even work with the point of your finger. But anyways, uh, that's how Air Gesture works. So now I'm going to show you guys what Air View does. Um, so what you want to do is go to a video again. Um, I'm just going to go to a random uh, stock video here that Samsung already had on their Samsung. And as you can see, I'm just watching the video normally. I'm going to hit play. And what you want to do is you want to take your finger and just hover above the timeline. So um, you could see I'm doing this right now and basically you can go ahead and skip into the video wherever you please. So this is really cool because I'm not really touching the screen at all, yet I'm able to see what's in the video later on. So that is an example of AirView. So the last thing I want to show you guys is the camera features on the Galaxy S4 and Samsung has really made a lot of changes on the camera. I'm going to show you guys briefly just a few of the changes. First of all is the whole dual shot mode. So now when you're taking a picture you can have this little box right here and you can take the shot, the same shot from the back and from the front which is really cool. And you can move this box anywhere like I just said. You can uh, change, you know, the dimensions of this box. As you can see you can make it larger, smaller. <laughs> Um, so that's that feature. Also, Samsung has created a huge variety of different modes. So besides the usual night and sp sports mode, uh, you have an eraser mode. You have, look at this, HDR, animated, drama, sound and shot, best face, best photo, beauty face, auto. Just a whole bunch of different features to really make it seem as if it's a real camera. So I really hope you guys enjoyed these tips and tricks. 
You will not find this on the Galaxy S3. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.